Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys my main favorites. We're going to do it the same style as always. Um, beauty favorites, lifestyle, food, my YouTube favorite of the month, which I don't have one this month, so... Sorry, there's not going to be a YouTube favorite this month, and then my music favorite, so if you're interested, then just keep watching. So this month, I just have not worn a lot of makeup this month. This has been a very, like, no makeup month. I've been traveling, so, like, I get terribly, terribly sick traveling. Like, my allergies, like, just, like, death is upon me. So I've been wearing a lot of makeup, which means I've been wearing a ton of chapstick. You guys know I always wear chapstick anyway, and I've mentioned this before, but my first favorite of the month in beauty is my cake batter chapstick, guys. This stuff is amazing it's beautiful it's luscious go buy it i just love it i always have chapstick on my lips anytime all the time but especially when i'm sick and i'm just like you know just kind of partially dying you want chapstick on your lips you want your lips to feel hydrated you want to be cute even when you're not being cute so definitely been my favorite this month next this just kind of falls along the same line of that i just haven't been wearing a ton of makeup this month and when i do want to look put together this is my go-to this is the ultimate bronzer this is in the shade warm i'm a little warm so this is my shade and i love it i use this for bronzing the face but lately when i haven't been wearing any makeup i've been wearing it in my crease like crazy guys i have it in my crease today i don't know if you can tell but this has just been my go to it just gives a little color to my face you know makes me look like i tried you know when i really did it so last one beauty favorites is just this setting brush this is the real technique setting brush and guys this is amazing amazing for highlighter i have been using this a ton for my highlighter this is pretty much all i use now it is the best. It picks up a ton of product. It puts it on great, and I just love it. I've never used the one from uh, Anastasia, but this to me, in terms of looks, looks very similar. So I don't know if you've ever used the one from Anastasia. Try this. Comment below. Tell me if you liked it because I think it looks super, super similar, but I can't really say from experience because I've never tried it. But I definitely think this could be maybe a dupe. I don't really know, but I would definitely suggest going out and trying it if you're looking for a highlighter brush. Because this one is like my favorite. So the first thing I have for lifestyle is just this lotion. This is the Dove Cream Oil Intensive Body Lotion. Everything, guys. This is everything. This hasn't been open yet. I just got it because I was traveling and I needed. I didn't bring my lotion because it has a pump. They don't sell one without a pump, which is kind of annoying because you can't really take it traveling. But I should have thought to put it in a travel container, but I didn't. This is just the best. I think it runs about five dollars at Walmart, but it is worth every penny guys especially if you have super super dry skin i really like it sometimes it's hard for me to wear lotion because it really just bothers me some lotions leave like you know kind of like a film over top of your skin if that makes sense and this does not do that this just sinks into the skin so well it doesn't leave like any like film or residue behind it just feels like your skin just super moisturized so i definitely recommend going out and trying it this is the cream oil one but they also have a shea butter one so if you're into like the shea butter scent then try that this one doesn't have a very strong scent which i like because my grandma's asthma and i'm always around her and i really can't wear a lot of scent and stuff around her so this works completely great it's not it's like has a light scent but it's just not very strong at all like i said i definitely recommend that you guys go out and try it if you're looking for i guess just like a new lotion or something it is amazing and it's just really been like my just like i think that probably might be like my actual like most favorite thing of the month so next for lifestyle is this dial handsome this i discovered only a few days ago and hasn't been here all month but guys it was so good this is the himalayan pink salt and water lily scent now you guys tell me I've never tried Himalayan pink salt, but for some reason I feel like it wouldn't have a smell. You know, regular salt doesn't have a smell. Does Himalayan pink salt have a smell? Like, leave me a comment below. Tell me, because, like, every time I read it, I'm just like, but does it smell? I don't know. But whatever this is, it smells amazing. It smells, like, just really, like, fresh and light and clean, and I really, really like that. This is kind of new for me. I don't ever, I've never used, like, dial soap. I've never used, like anything but like Bath and Body Works hand soap because I'm really super particular about my smells and I never feel like I find like like the Dial brands or what's the other brand that's like the shape like a circle you know what I'm talking about I've never really found like a smell in those brands that I've liked but this one I'm in love with guys check it out it's 98 cents at Walmart like you can't beat it with a stick it's amazing so next we're gonna jump into food and guys this bread is everything if you're a carb lover like me your girl loves her some carbs. This is the stuff. This is the Sara Leo Artisanal, I guess how you say it, bakery bread. As you can see, it's just like a really super thick cut bread. I absolutely love this bread, guys, because I love thick cut bread, especially for like French toast or grilled cheese. I love thick cut bread for grilled cheese, guys. It's amazing. This has just been my go-to for like a really like <laughs> really not healthy meal, like let's be honest. But like if I want like some really good French toast or really good like grilled cheese sandwich or even just really good like thick cut toast oh it's so good it is 
probably not that great for you. It has, what does it say, 100 calories per slice, so there's that. But it's all good in the hood. You're low sourcing carbs, and this stuff has been my favorite. So this is an empty package, guys. I ate them all last night. But this is my favorite nonetheless. This is the Ghirardelli Dark Chocolate Sea Salt Cashews. Oh my god. I don't know if any of you guys watch Sarah Ray Vargas. I watched her. I love her. Shout out to you, Sarah. She's amazing. She suggested these like like a while ago in a vlog. And I was like, oh, I'm like, they're like five dollars a package. Like, let me not lie to y'all. They're kind of pricey for like a little bag of cashews. But I was like, oh, I don't need those. I don't need those, girl. You can like you don't need them. So I'm grocery shopping and I'm just like, you know, treat yourself, get, get you some cash, get you these cashews. So I'll buy them and oh my worth every penny worth every single penny guys i kid you not this stuff is amazing they do have milk chocolate too if you like milk chocolate and i think they have a couple or one at least one they have there's the i think the milk chocolate is in a blue package and they have a green package i don't know i think it's a different kind of nut dipped in chocolate i'm not 100 percent sure but definitely go see if these are at your store i can never find them at walmart but they're always at target well, the ones at walmart they only have the milk chocolate ones at my walmart at least or every other one that i've ever been to but they have the dark chocolate at target and i love them guys i've been eating these non-stop i probably shouldn't but let's be real they're amazing and i just love it i love like dark chocolate sea salt flavors uh it's my favorite i hate milk chocolate don't bring milk chocolate to me i don't want it but this just is amazing just go buy some guys feel what i'm feeling right now like just go buy some so like i said there's no youtube channel favorite for this month so we're just gonna skip straight to music and i'm just gonna hop on to spotify and see what's popping so my first music favorite is a good life with g easy and kalani this is such a great song guys it's like a really like hype song like if you like hype songs i'm always listening to hype songs that's like all i listen to like i would like to be hype like 24 7 that would be great i'm always driving down back roads like by myself just screaming into the trees because that's what i do and it's just really fun this song gets me like in a good mood like why would you listen to something that doesn't get you in a good mood like don't we all want to be just hyped 24 7 but i definitely just recommending and go recommending and go i definitely recommend go checking this out because it's a really good song so next we're gonna flip the switch and talk about kendrick lamar i've never been a kendrick lamar fan like ever and i don't i just i'm not the type of person honestly this is so terrible to give music artists a chance like i don't like them i don't like them don't put them on face i don't listen to them but my husband loves kendrick lamar so he would always play his music and then i heard the song loyalty and i was like be still my heart what is that I love this song. It's like such a like, mm, I don't know how to explain it. Like, let me, I'm sitting here trying to explain it. I'm not going to be able to explain it. Like, that was terrible, but let's go listen to it. I mean, it's definitely not for everybody. I listen to it in the car. My grandma's in my car and she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, okay, chill out. Calm down. It's fine. Like, it's okay. Breathe. But it's a really good song. I like, uh, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I guess making sounds is my way of explaining things, but Go check it out. Like I said, not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's really, it's a good listen. So my next song is another Kendrick Lamar song, and I love featuring Zakari. Shout out to my husband for putting me on to Kendrick Lamar because it's literally like my obsession right now. But this is another really great song. Like I said, not everybody's cup of tea. Go listen to it if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I love it. And I'm just like, ugh. Again, my grandma's just kind of like, ugh. Girl, what you listen to? What's that? But, you know, not everybody's going to like your music. I'm not going to like all your music. You're not going to like all my music. So, go listen to it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And my last song for the month is In the Blood featuring John Mayer. I love John Mayer. Like, honestly, he's never uttered anything out of his lips that I didn't like. It's all amazing. It's all good things. It's just, yes. So, the lyrics in this song just really speak to me. What he's saying in the song is, are you destined to be as your parents? Are your parents' destiny your destiny? Just because your parents got divorced, does that mean you're gonna get divorced or your is your home gonna be broken? I just really, really love it just because it really does speak to me. Like you're not destined to be what your parents are, you're not destined to be how your parents are. You have your own destiny, you create your own path. And I really love everything that he says in the song, and I definitely, definitely suggest everybody go listen to it. Like, like it's just ugh, like it's just such a good song. John Mayer is just such a talented, talented person. Like Go listen to the song. It's amazing, guys. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave a comment below and let me know some of y'all's favorites for the month. I would love to hear about them. And I also really hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. So take me away.